a new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hi. How you guys doing? Kind of fix my hair. I am starting the day with you. It is noon, but I have not been feeling well all morning. I stayed in bed until about nine because I've had a headache since 1 a.m. Um, I actually went to sleep at right like 9 p.m. I got ready for bed and after I ate dinner and I just, I was just so tired. I was so tired and uh, you're on my water. <laughs> You're not my water. So I'm gonna pour myself one of these new poppy watermelon drinks. I just, I didn't have a headache going to bed, but I was just exhausted. So I put my phone down, um, took my headphones off, shut the doors, turned on a fan, and went to sleep. Um, Jason woke me up twice thinking I didn't want to go to sleep that early. I did. I did in fact want to go to sleep that early. I'm the only one who eats cottage cheese. So I get to eat out of the bowl. <laughs> also go the Costco cheese, cream cheese, not cream cheese. Got his cheese, whatever that brand is, better than this one. But um, look how cute she looks. I just was beat and I allowed my body to be tired and I wanted to kind of recoup. Um, so I fell asleep probably around 9 p.m. I woke up at 1 a.m. thinking it was like 6 a.m. and I'm like, oh, so good, I slept through the night. No, it was 1 a.m. and I had just had a raging headache and I still have it. I still have a headache. You're on my 40 ounce Stanley right now and I'm on my second refill of that. Like I said, it's not even noon. I've been chugging that water. I have just poured my drink to try and get me get, get my give myself some probiotic. Prebiotics? What do they have in here? Is it prebiotic? I forget. Um, I also drank a breakfast drink, some protein protein milk. Um, I just I can't get rid of this headache. And it's cold and it was raining until about an hour ago outside. And I just I'm letting I feel like my headache is moving from my head down into my sinuses. Like I feel like it's coming down to here. So I didn't want to go walking today because I just don't, in a cold especially. Um, and I normally would just wait and go, and maybe I still will, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to get my hair cut later this afternoon. So it's like, do I have time to wait for the weather to warm up? I can go now. It's just a little bit breezy. I just don't feel the greatest and I don't feel rest. So I think instead we're gonna go to Marshall's. <laughs> But to be fair, I'm not letting Marshalls and Home Goods speak to me. I am going with the list. As you saw yesterday, we cleaned out the Tupperware um, and Kaylee mentioned that she needed utensils when they move out. So I'm gonna look at Marshalls. Actually, it's Home Goods that has all that stuff. I'm gonna look there um, for a set of utensils for her, um, maybe some Tupperware for us. I wanna see, she unloaded the dishes this, last, this morning. I wanna see if there's, um, nope. Okay, I was wondering if we had more, um, like Tupperware in the dishwasher that got unloaded that we didn't want. There wasn't, so. Anyway, um, we always need makeup wipes um, and I'm looking for a new mascara. And then let Home Goods speak to me. So I'm gonna go do that. And like I said, my haircut is in like four hours. So I have plenty of time to go for a walk. We'll see, we'll see what I get up to. I haven't washed my hair. It's still in like Sunday hair when it was straight. But when I go get haircuts, I don't like to have it like just washed. I like to have it straight so that I can really show them like exactly what length I want it. Just cause I do like blunt cuts. Um, and I am, as you can see here where it's, um, it's hitting my shoulders. It's actually below my shoulders now in the front. And then it just does this, like it does that little flip and I can't stand it. So we're going back above the shoulders and I'm um, gonna get it kind of chopped up a bit. I am still not doing color on my hair and I probably am going to slice off any last highlight I've ever had on my hair. You can see the, lot, the bottom is lighter than my top. My top is my absolute natural. <laughs> so this is the last of the highlight color coming out of my hair with this haircut. I wonder if my twin sister, we should find out. Let's do this. Let's find out if my twin sister has kept her end of the bargain this year and not dyed her hair. Where is her phone number? There she is. Let's call her. I like it during the summer because she's not teaching and she's not working. So she's available to chat with more often and I love it. She's not answering. Well. Hi, this is Erin. Do what you do and I'll call you back. <laughs> do what you do. Well, we'll call her back. She'll call me back. If she sees that I've called her, um, she'll call me back. But um, anyway, okay, let's go start our day. As I speak, our weather here. As I speak, there was no sunshine on this back deck. And now it's fill filled with sunshine. But that wind that's blowing those trees is cold. 
It's like cold wind, but look how pretty my patio looks. And there's no chickens on it, which is fantastic. And the girls are getting used to going over there and letting her out and stay over there. And so far, it did rain all night, so they haven't tracked over dirt, which is wonderful. We put the rug over there, so they come over the fence and they can wipe their feet off over there. So, so far, day one, holding up. All right, I may or may not have taken a nap on the couch sitting up and for an hour-ish and might have gotten woken up for by my husband, maybe. <laughs> I probably would have slept for another hour sitting up had he not called to just say hi while he got Tums for the staff. I was like, that's really random. Can they not buy their own Tums? And he's like, you know, when at least one person asks for them on the daily basis, I'm gonna have Tums in the office because <laughs> I'm sick of them being needing them. And I'm like, okay, that's really random. Okay, that, yes, that happened. So I'm not feeling refreshed. Um, I should be on a walk, I am feeling guilty, but now I don't have time to go for a walk. If it's less windy, it's really sunny, it's really nice, it's really warm. The windy is, uh, the wind is a little bit annoying. Um, maybe after my haircut, if I'm not feeling too itchy, I will go for a walk tonight because I literally have no responsibilities tonight. Um, we'll see if I'm, I should have energy. I should do that just to get some energy to not fall asleep at six o'clock tonight. So let's go to Marshall's and uh, I do have a list, but let let it also speak to me. And home goods, they need to, it needs to speak to me on a budget, on a budget. I wanted to stay focused when I was in the store to make sure I got what I needed and didn't get sidetracked. Um, sidetracked? Sidetracked. <laughs> and then I called my sister back. She called while I was shopping. Called her back while I was waiting in the line. I had a good talk with her and she has not, in fact, colored her hair since we started our bet last spring. So she too has cut off all the color she's ever added to her hair. Her hair is super short, if you know, if you you've seen her. Um, but I got face wipes. I, we just we are constantly using these. Um, I put a pack in every single bathroom. I have now a pack in my car. Ashley has a pack in her cheer bags, which she's technically not using for another month or so. But now Jason is addicted to using them in his car to wipe his face. <laughs> so I got those. Um, then these are for Kaylee. I got these cute little um, the dish towels. Um, they're, I think, what are they called? Swedish dishcloths. I'm not a dishcloth person, but she can use these to like wipe her counters down um, in her apartment. And they're cute because they're like cherry and then striped. And then this guy here has a cute cherry on them. I thought that'd be kind of cute going into summer, the end of summer for her. And then the back side is blue versus the white on that side. Then I got her utensil set. I was gonna go and get the utensils at the dollar store, um, but I figured this is a 20 piece set. It was $20. I can't get 20 pieces at the dollar store for that price. Cause it's $1.25 now. So I actually saved money by getting this set. Anyway, so just a good set to get for her. I am, because I have an hour now before my appointment, um, I think I'm gonna go to the dollar store still and get um, some other, the other utensils that I think she's gonna need just at the dollar price. Um, I did look through some of the utensils and the, you know, she's got some spatulas and, and things like that already that I gave her for Christmas. No, for her birthday. But I'm just gonna go to the dollar store and grab a few more things for her um, I think she's at work. Is that what she said? Let me see what she is. Usually their schedules are on the calendar here. Yeah, she works in two hours. So maybe I did send her a picture of this utensil set. Did she respond back to me? She said, those are cute. So I did good. I showed her a picture of the utensils. So I think I'm gonna spend the next little bit to go down to the dollar store and I'll text her and say, hey, can I just go ahead and get you stuff that I think you're gonna need? I just don't wanna spend $5 for every single thing that I think she's gonna need by getting it here at Home Goods, it won't matter if it's only a dollar. <laughs> if it breaks, they can go get something else for a dollar. So then the last thing I got is a cute little workout shirt. 
Um, this one is like a nice stretchy material and it's kind of got like a mesh material here on the pit, which is super nice as we go into warmer weather. And it's hopefully a little bit longer. I have a bigger gut for it to go over. I didn't try it on. I'm hoping it fits. Um, I think it's actually pretty long. So if it doesn't fit now, it'll be my um, encouragement to continue walking and um, lose more weight. I am one down one pound. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know if any of you are like this, but I, I think so many women are. It's so discouraging because I think I walked like 25 to 30 miles last week. So to be down only one pound is a little discouraging. <laughs> it's like I walked all of that and I'm only down a pound. Good times are here to come. If I keep up with this and keep going and keep changing habits, I think we can do better. So let's head off to the dollar store and then I'm gonna, go, just because it's close to where my hair appointment is, um, I think I can kill the next half hour or so before my appointment and still make it over there in time. All right, I was kind of stupid and didn't realize that I was <laughs> going to the dollar store at the thick of school getting out. Um, I don't have kids that are going to these schools <laughs> at this time of day anymore. Abby is done with school at like 10 o'clock, so I'm not used to like thinking about the time frame. So I'm rushing to like fight the traffic to get to my hair appointment, and then I think I'll have some time. I just want to make sure I get there in time because the traffic well, the traffic going that way is bad, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't bad going this way away from the school. So as soon as I get there, I'll show you a few things. It was funny when I texted Kaylee, cause she's like, I don't think we need, need anything at the dollar store besides, oh, what did she say? She said we need, um, I'm coming up to her red light here. She said, um, we need, and it was something that I don't know that they carry at the dollar store. Let's see what she said. She said, we need an, oh, I didn't get that. Ice cube molds, which I probably should have gotten there. Um, we need ice cube trays and we need a Brita. I was like, no, my friend, you're a college student. <laughs> you do not need a Brita. Sorry, I was like, just drink the water, my friend. <laughs> just drink the water. Given our fridge gives us filtered water Fair enough, but I'm not buying a Brita. <laughs> if you want to buy the Brita, you can. I don't even know if they'd, she's going to have room in the fridge for a Brita. So anyway, but I was able to get a few things. Um, and uh, I think she'll be surprised like, oh yeah, I guess I do need that. So I'll show you here in a second. Okay. I have 20 minutes, so we have plenty of time. All right. The first one I got. It was just a pie pan. Just simple, nothing fancy. Um, they're not gonna, she's not gonna get large pizzas, so this will suffice. Same with a cookie sheet. Um, I don't know if she's gonna make cookies, but you can also like, you know, make chicken nuggets and like the basic college food on here. So again, very simple, but I don't wanna spend a ton of money on like you know, those things at Target are like 15 to $20 a piece. Um, this might, these might break. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's just the sharper knives. Uh, it's a four pack. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see what else. These guys are kind of cute. The little salt and pepper shakers. They're just cute. Probably fill them up for her before she goes so she doesn't even need to buy salt and pepper. Um, we'll finish the kitchen stuff and then I'll show you that stuff. Um, let's see here. And I got a can opener because she's going to be living on a budget. She's going to have canned goods. <laughs> but the good thing is she likes, um, like canned pineapple and canned fruit and canned. She's not a soup person, but it will come in handy. It seems kind of sturdy. Actually seems like it might work easier than the, than the can opener I currently have. Um, cheese grater. I don't have a whole lot of hope for this one. We'll see how long it lasts, sir. But usually on cheap ones like this, this becomes detached from here. Um, but who cares? Like, if she needs a new one, and um, that's what she wants for Christmas, then maybe I get her a nice one. Uh, let's see. That's all the kitchen stuff. So then we move to 
just a very small bottle of palm olive dish soap. I gave her a small bottle of Tide laundry detergent. So this one will probably last her quite a while as well, just to clean dishes by hand or to rinse them off or whatever in the sink. And then a scrub brush for the sink and a scrub brush for the la toilette. So that's it. That's all I got. I was going to get her a broom um, because you buy the handle separate from the, the broom brush. Um, but I mean, it's two fifty. but I don't know how big her apartment tile, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how big the kitchen is. Maybe she just needs a vacuum and she just needs to vacuum the kitchen. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she gets, Ooh, I need to present this idea to Jason. Maybe she gets our vacuum and I get a new Dyson. That's kind of bougie for a college student to get a Dyson, <laughs> but maybe I get a new one. Or he gives her, what he could do is he usually, anyway, he could give her the store one. That's always kind of the last end of a, a, a vacuum for us is at the store. So he gives her the store vacuum, gets a new store vacuum for himself. So that's more likely what will happen. Is he'll give it, cause he's probably, he probably hasn't bought a new vacuum for the store for years. So anyway. We'll figure that out. A lot of that we're gonna have to figure out when we get her moved in. Um, we're gonna do a trip to Costco and kind of decide what she needs last minute when we're there, dropping her off and getting her settled in. So anyway, now I'm gonna wait for my appointment and I just watch a show here. I'm just gonna, I don't even need to do it here. I'm gonna charge my phone and watch a show on, in my car. Okay. Here is a before, again, ignore the dirty hair. And here's a before and ignore the no makeup face. I, just, I, I do have makeup on. My eyes are done. That's all I'm gonna do in the summertime unless I'm going, going somewhere. Okay, before, sit up straight so you can see how much it has grown. It was like above my shoulders. So we're cutting probably all of that off. I wish I had lighter hair, but I don't. So we'll see what it looks like after. Okay, here it is all chopped off. It's a little more rounded than I would do. She straightened it a little bit, but um, let's see if I can change my lighting. I can't really, I'm in the sun. But it'll look cute when it's like, I mean, it's straight, but I don't like it to be kind of rounded down into my head. It'll calm down after it's washed but anyway i probably am going to miss being able to pull it back into a ponytail nope i can't get it into a ponytail but i will probably do it like this for sunday and monday and then do my little twisty backs when i'm working out and whatnot during the week which i still can do i probably just won't be able to get it back into a pony i probably will just do a twist to like right here um just to get it off of my face but i'm all itchy so I'm d debating. I don't think I want to go for a walk. It would be nice, but I just haven't been home. The kids have been home from school and I haven't seen them. So go home and check in on them. 